Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Brushes video, I'll be showing you how to find, install, and use free custom brushes from the internet. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button and also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn a lot about Photoshop Elements, the best way to learn is by using my complete training titles, and you'll find links for that up in the cards and also in the description. Okay, let's get to it. The Photoshop brushes that come with Adobe Photoshop are very comprehensive. There's lots and lots of brushes available. You can do just loads and loads of stuff with those brushes. But sometimes there may be something which you can't find and you need to go out and find some other solution for that. For instance, this splatter effect here. There are a few drop brushes inside of Photoshop that come with Photoshop, but they're not great. They don't have the real splatter effect. So I had to go out and find this brush for this kind of a background effect in here. Let me show you how I do that. I'll just bring up a browser and first thing is to just go to Google or some other search engine and do a, a search here for Photoshop brushes. I've used Breezy a lot here, or Brush Easy rather. I've used them a lot and I've also used this one down here, myphotoshopbrushes.com. It's kind of my two favorites and right at the top of the list as well so that's pretty good. This is a nice link here if you want to find out more about what they found. This shows you some other interesting places to look if you don't find what you want down here. But there are loads of spots here for free brushes and it's merely a matter of going through until you find the one that you want. I think you'll be able to find something that will match your needs very easily with what's available online. Okay, we'll just go over here to this one where it says Photoshop Brushes and it's myphotoshopbrushes.com and here's the actual brush that I chose in here. Let me just go back to the home page on this and I'll show you how I did my search. There's a home page, easy enough. You can just do a search right here by keyword. In this case it would be splatter, but before even doing that you can scroll down and you'll find little drop down lists right here. Here's one for the brushes drop downs and they happen to have a section for splatter. Very, very common, very useful brush style. Just click on that brings up the brushes sets. Now notice there are ads all over the place in here. Be aware of that so you don't accidentally click on an ad if you think you're clicking on part of the actual contents in here. So just keep in mind a lot of this stuff is ads. Okay, here's our main section here for the brushes. Simply scroll down, look at their kind of artwork here, see if anything looks good. And the one that I went for was this one because it has a real nice splatter look. Like this is nice but they have a wetter effect to them, more of a, a damp, this is a drier kind of a splatter, so I like that look. Here's more of a grunge kind of a splatter over here. Okay, so we'll click on that. It takes you right to that set, and then the first thing you want to check out down here is the terms of use. Most of these you'll find will be free. This one's free for commercial and personal, which is why I can use that in this video. So, you know, take a look at that see if there's any requirements in there. If it's a personal use, I, th I think all of these are free for personal use. But if you're going to be using it professionally, take a look in here and make sure that it is free for commercial use down there. Okay, let's just come down. Now again, like I said, there are a lot of advertisements on this site. There's one right there. That's an ad. And this thing is an ad here. They're trying to trick you right there. So be aware of that. This big download button here, that is an ad. Don't click on that. The actual download is way down here. There you go, kind of hidden down there, but that's your download button. If you scroll down a little bit further, here's a look at all of the brushes that are inside this particular brush set and the sizes of those brushes as well. So they're very, very large brushes, which gives you a lot of detail. Okay, click on the download. There we go. As you can see, I have a folder just for my Photoshop brushes right here, and they come in as a zip file. So simply just save that zip file. Now I've already saved this one. You can see it there it is right there. So I'll just close this window down. Once you save it, you'll have to go over then and take a look at that zip file. Before we do that, let's just look through here a little bit further, see what else is available. We have ornaments. Let this load up. Lots of great stuff that you can't easily find, you know, included inside of Photoshop or things you may want to use, kind of things that are 
very useful. Come down here, click on Show More, you get even more of these in here. And I've used these frequently for things like Christmas cards. There's a Christmassy kind of one. I've used the Snowflakes one in a few of my videos. Real, very useful. I think there's a different Snowflake, but they're all you know, similar concepts. So just go through and font you're looking for. You may want to download several that are in you know, the same basic theme. We have some human brushes in here, all kinds of interesting stuff there. And scroll back up to the top. Nature, textures, abstract, symbols, vintage, and some other miscellaneous things as well. Let's take a look at our textures quickly in here. These can be very useful when you're doing some more fine painting kind of work inside of Photoshop. So all kinds of interesting little textury kind of brushes in here. They also have some PSD files and some patterns and some custom shapes and some styles and gradients. But I use this really mostly just for the brushes. Okay, so that's how I find and download my brush sets. Let me bring up that folder now. There we go. There's the folder. So simply find your brush set. There it is. I'm in Windows right now, so right click and extract all. And then that extracts it over here. Now this one comes in as a folder. Some of the brushes will come in just as themselves. That little ABR extension, that is the actual file extension right there for the brush set. I downloaded this one back in 2015. There you go. Different kind of a splatter effect. These are splashes of paint, also really useful. If it's in a folder, just double click, go into the folder. Now sometimes you may find additional files in here. You may be two or three different brush sets. There may be a text file with some information in there about that brush set. If there is, take a look at that and check for any copyright notices or other requirements if you use a brush set. This one doesn't happen to have that, so we're fine to use. Okay, so that's where it's sitting. Now when you use it, you need to load that brush in. Now I like loading them in temporarily so that they don't stay always installed on my system. And it's easy to do, easy to load in these brushes. Just click on your brush tool and then go up to our brushes right here. And that little gear icon right there, click on that and then come down to load brushes right there. Click on that. And there's where all of my brushes are. If I wanted to load any of these, I'll just click on those and then load directly. Or if it's in a folder, just double click to go into the folder click on your new brush and then click on load and that will then load that into your brush set. Now you can see how that comes in right here. Here's my default brushes and it loads in at the end. So if I scroll down on this, I'll just drag it down right down towards the end here. Okay, it's almost the end of the regular brushes and here we go. We're now getting into right there into the set of these splatter brushes. And right down here there's one I, I used in this. This is all just the one brush right there. Okay, let me show you how I use these in this little project, little fast project. But it's a nice one on using these custom brushes. So I've already loaded the brushes in, as you can see here. And again, that was just up here. And load brushes. And then double click on the brush file. And it loads right in at the bottom of your current list. All right, let's just do this image here. Open recent. There's the girl's picture here. Let this picture open up. There we are. Simple little picture as you can see. Now we need to get rid of this background and then replace this with our own background. So we'll do a few things on that. First I want to make this into a regular layer. Just double click. Choose OK. It's now just a regular layer. And let's give this two layers underneath. So I'll just grab this and put it up on top. So now I have two layers underneath just like that. We now can Fill the bottom layer here with white. We already have white as our foreground color. That's fine. Paint bucket and fill. So that's now white in the background. Okay. We'll do a real fast layer mask on this to remove this background. I'll just use the standard lasso tool up here. And I'll just do a quick little lasso right in close around the girl's head here. Just like that. And then off and then around back to the start again. There we go. And then select, come down to select and mask. I'm in 
Photoshop CC 2017 right now. If you're in a different version of Photoshop, this will say Refine Edge. It's the same basic tool. It just looks different here inside of 2017. There we are. There's our little Refine Edge brush, and we'll just paint along that edge. And go to a real nice, quick, clean mask in here. This works out really well if it's a fairly simple background with good separation between your foreground and your background. This is a real fast, easy way to do this. Kind of finish it off right there. There we go. Choose OK. There's our mask. Click on the layer mask button. And there she is on a nice, clean, white background. Okay, come down to layer two. Let's now choose our foreground and background colors. Click on our color in here, and for the foreground color, just a bright green. Doesn't matter what, just anything real bright in there. And the background color, come a nice bright blue in here. Looks pretty good. Just bright green and a bright blue. And then we'll go back to our brushes. And then I'll scroll back down again and find that one brush that I used previously. And I think it's just up just a little bit. It's one of the first ones. There it is, that one right there. It says 2440. Click on that, and the number down here is the brush size. So the brush size that I used was 900 pixels. And you can see it right there. There it is, 900 pixels. Okay, so there's the basic brush, foreground, background, color. Let's now adjust the brush settings. So I'll go up to Window and click on the Brush panel here or use the F5 key. Here we are, and let's set a few things. I'll go here to Shape Dynamics and let's set the size jitter up pretty good. I'll set this to 72 and I'll put the minimum at 1% and let's do the angle jitter at 21 percent and the roundness at 16. You can see how this is affecting the look of the brush right down below here. You're getting this, you know, changes of this sample brush down here. And the minimum roundness 25 is fine. I'm just putting in just some variation down here. Okay, scattering. I want to scatter this out a bit. So on scattering I'll set this at 121 and it really scatters those out. You can see right down there. And let's set the count up to 2, which increases the numbers that are scattered or sprayed. And let's set the count jitter to 9%, so this has some variation on that. And then color dynamics, we want to be shifting or changing the colors. So the foreground and background jitter set at 50%. And hue jitter here is 50%. And brightness is down at 0. That looks fine. And I have smoothing checked. Okay, so there we go. That's the settings. So shape dynamics and scattering and color dynamics and then have smoothing checked. Now that that's done and we're on our layer here, just come in and tap and paint a little bit like this and that hue jitter gives us those different colors. And there we go. It's a real fun, easy, quick background. Nice for cards and things like that. But it's also fast enough for this video as well. I didn't want to do a real long-term project here. Just a quick thing showing you how you can use these custom brushes very easily for real fast, nice, interesting effects. But there we go. That is how you can find free brush sets on Google or the Internet and then download them and install them and use them in your projects. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.